Donald Trump. Why? Why? The United States President, Donald Trump, has decided, hasn't formally been announced, but has been indicated by the White House that he is intending to leave the Paris Agreement today. The argument seems to be this is better for the American people, it is better for business, we don't need to do anything about the planet, it's all fine. We know that you're a climate change denier, Mr Trump, this isn't news, but even if you don't believe in climate change, there are plenty of reasons to want to be a part of the Paris Agreement. Being mindful of what we put into the environment does more than just affect the outcomes of climate change. Here are some great things that will happen if you decide to go green. Reducing air pollution. Reducing water contamination. Creating jobs in the green energy sector. Establishing an energy supply that doesn't require you finding more oil in 30 years to keep going. But the unfortunate truth, Mr Trump, is that climate change is real. All of the data indicates that the average temperature of the planet has been increasing pretty much year on year for the last couple of decades. That's scary. I agree. And it's easier to just hide your head in the sand and pretend it's not real, but unfortunately it is. Perhaps you believe that this data can be explained away by some natural processes. The Earth's climate changes in cycles all the time, you argue. That's what the ice ages were. Yeah, and they're accompanied by extinction events. Yeah, the Earth comes in cycles with its climate. It's called the Milankovitch cycles. Rather interesting if you want to look it up. However, we should be going into an ice age right now, judging by those. So, um, yeah, we did something, didn't we? However, there might be a silver lining to all of this. Trump deciding that the United States does not need to take part in the Paris Agreement might actually be a benefit to the entire planet. Because the simple fact is, Trump was not going to take that seriously, that agreement. And there is no real punishment for failing to meet targets for the Paris Agreement. It's just kind of on good faith that all these countries are agreeing, yes, we know this is a problem and we're going to work together to fix it. And if Trump is just kind of just like, nah, I'm all right, we're in the agreement, but we're not really going to do anything about it. Other countries might feel the same because if they're putting in all this extra effort and one of the largest polluter in the, in the world isn't trying, then why should they bother? You know, a small country that has a much, much smaller carbon footprint why should they bother making all these changes if the US isn't? However, with America out of the equation, that might not be so much of a problem. And China seems really, really keen to one-up the US wherever they can. And this is a nice opportunity for them to show the world that they care and they're better than the US in that respect. And China is a bigger pollutant than the US. So, you see Trump, the thing is, I have a master's degree in geographic information and climate change. As far as I'm aware, you have no such qualifications, and you no longer have any climate advisors. Good work. I don't consider myself to be an expert on climate change by any stretch of the imagination. I know that I'm not. I know that there is so much that I do not know about climate change. So why do you act like you know everything? In my experience, the more knowledge that you gain, the more you realise you don't know. And the people who claim to know stuff generally don't even have the basics.